You are looking live at the campus of Crosby High School. We are in the Nick Audjilly Court, and this is yet another broadcast of the DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball. And again, we are live here at Crosby High School. Good evening. This is Mitch Beck along with Deb Thoreau, and we have a barn burner for you tonight. It is the number 19 Crosby High School taking on the visiting number 22 Kennedy High School. And this should be a real good one. There's talent all over the court. Leading off with none other than 27.2 points per game average, Jonathan Rivera for Crosby High School. And there's quite a bit of talent across the way at Kennedy High School. We will have... The starting lineups for you live in just a moment, but we will give you a sneak peek because that's what we do here at DET Sports Media. We give you everything you need to know before you know to know it. How about that? For Kennedy High School, they will be starting number five, Sincere Alves, number 10, Manny Beeman, number 20, Chauncey Hicks, number 21, Davon Zielinski, and number 33, Lennox Serrano. Very, very talented young man, the junior from here in Waterbury. For Crosby High School and the legendary Nick Ogelli, he will be starting number one, Jonathan Rivera. As we mentioned, he's averaging 27.2 points per game, clearly All-State, outstanding athlete. Number four, Chris Spears. Number 10, Busy Beeman. And number 14 is Jason Robinson. And number 25 is Daniel Melendez. We will have the national anthem, the starting lineups, and then it'll be game time right here on the DET Sports Media broadcast of Naugatuck Valley League varsity boys basketball seen only on Waterbury Cable 16, and we are live right now on YouTube. Stick around. We'll be back in a moment. I could never get enough of our beautiful national anthem. It's a beautiful rendition that they play here at Crosby High School. We are going to see the Crosby Bulldogs and the Kennedy Eagles coming up very, very shortly here on the Coach Nick Ogilley Court. I should mention Kennedy is coached by Armand Lavasser and Ryan Sullivan. We'll get the, the starting lineups now. There's your Kennedy starting lineup coming now. Be a little more production value <laughs> for Crosby. Here come your starters. As we mentioned earlier, 
Jonathan Rivera, Chris Spears, Busy Beeman, Jason Robinson, and DJ Melendez. There's Melendez right there. Starting lineups, as you see, the senior captain, Jonathan Rivera, is the last one introduced for the home Crosby High School Bulldogs. Our referees are ready. Teams are getting ready. We're ready here. We hope you're ready there. And we are about to get underway here at the home of the Bulldogs, Crosby High School. Lennox Serrano will jump center for the visiting Eagles. Home Crosby Bulldogs are in white with blue trim. Visiting Kennedy is in the dark colors it, with black numbers and gold lettering around those black numbers. And we are underway. Serrano gets it. And I thought they were going to call a false jump. They did. And they're going to do it again. Easily controlled. The tap was controlled by Lennox Serrano, but... Jonathan Rivera pulls up for a shot. Here comes Sincere Alves. Goes the distance and gets the bucket. Here comes Crosby. DJ Melendez gives it up to Spears. In the corner to Busy Beeman. Back to Spears, back to Beeman. He pulls up for a jumper, no good. Serrano with the rebound. He gives it to Manny Beeman. And Beeman holds up momentarily at half court. Sincere Alves dishes. And it's the shot's no good. It was Chauncey Hicks on the shot. And quick outlet pass. Robinson misses the shot. And we've got a foul. That's on Busy Beeman. That's his first foul. And Serrano will inbound to the other Beeman in this game, Manny Beeman. What is the over-under on how many times I confuse the two of them? <laughs> Manny Beeman puts it to Alves. Alves thinks about a three, then does pull up for one. Buries it. He's got all five points in this game so far. Crosby responding now. Chris Spears, he pulls up for a long three, air ball. And that's rebounded by Zielinski. And here comes Beeman for Kennedy. Already leading 5-0. There's a long three. Zielinski hits it. And it's 8-0. Kennedy enters the game number 22 in the state. Currently, Crosby is 19. There's a long three. That's no good. Manny Beeman with the rebound. He leads the breakout. Gets it to Alves. He's thinking three. Makes a nice move. Lays it up, but not into the basket. <laughs> Rivera feeling the pressure from Serrano. Gives it up. Spears. Spears just flips it at the net. And back the other way. Alves gives it. <laughs> Goes in for Chauncey Hicks, but... <laughs> He went for the dunk and it barely got in, but it did. 10-0. Long rebound. 
Crosby starting the game a little bit cold on the offensive side. Chris Spears gives it up. Jonathan Rivera settles things down. He goes towards the hoop and up and in. 10 to 2. Kennedy is currently number four statewide in D3. Long three for Alves and hits it. He shot that one from the Brass City Mall. That was a long three. That would almost qualify as a four. <laughs> nice pulling up, up and in. That's Jason Robinson. 13 to four. Nice pass down low. Great effort under the hoop. And that's Chauncey Hicks, he's got four. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Busy Beeman. 15 to six. 4-11 left here in the first quarter. Alves. He's feeling it. He tries to get it to Serrano. It goes off his hands. Alves telling him where he thought he was heading. Chris Spears takes a break. Into the game is Andre Arrington. And Crosby will settle down. Beeman. Nice job by DJ Melendez to keep the ball. Dished off to Robinson. Robinson spins, goes to the center, and gets it. He has four. And it's 15 to eight. Crosby dug themselves a bit of a hole. They've been down by 10 and 11. Currently down by seven. Slow start for them. There's a long three. That's no good. Comes right back, and he gets it at Zielinski. 17 to eight. DJ Melendez with Manny Beeman on him. Looking for help, swung around. Back out to Robinson. Robinson gets a little bit of a pick, but a reach. And Zielinski will pick up his first of the game. Three minutes left here in the first quarter. Visiting Kennedy, Eagles leading 17 to eight. Robinson looks to inbound, gets it to DJ Melendez. Melendez has Manny Beeman on him. Using the forearm to push off a little bit. Gets the ball in the hands of Jonathan Rivera. Little shake and bake. Pushed into the corner to Robinson. Robinson thinks three, takes the shot. No good. Melendez with the rebound. He looks to send it down low. He was thinking about Arrington. And it went off the hands and out of bounds. Serrano's going to inbound now looking for Beeman. DJ Melendez sneaking up. Putting a little bit of pressure on. Serrano stuck around long enough to help him out. Sincere Alves. He has Arrington on him. Great pass down low, but Rivera picks it off. Rivera finds DJ Melendez. He gets it up and in. And it's a seven point margin. Serrano gives it back to Beeman. Pass outside to Zelensky. Pass back to Beeman. Out wide to Alves. He's feeling it. And an air ball. Robinson with the rebound. Rivera brings it into the forecourt. He pulls up, kicks it out, and a three is good. Andre Arrington. 17 to 13. Beeman brings it in the middle and picked off. DJ Melendez, he took steps. Stepping into the game is number 24. And that's Hakeem Trueheart. Manny Beeman takes a seat. 
And Serrano tries to send it into the corner, but Rivera gets his hands on it. Minute 26 left here in the first quarter. 17-13 is your score so far. Visiting Kennedy leading. St stepping into the game is Khalif Willard, and Melendez takes a seat. And it's Trueheart. He gets it to Alves. They move it back down low. Ball bouncing around. And kicked out to Trueheart. He shoots a three. Buries it. Trueheart makes it 20 to 13. There was no foul called on that. Trueheart, or not, it's not Trueheart, excuse me. That's Robinson. And he hits the bucket. He has six. Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Outstanding basketball early. Serrano loses control of it. Bounces it around. And we're going to get a blocking call on Robinson. He picks up his first. Checking in is number 23, Isaiah Tucker. Checking out is number 20, Chauncey Hicks. 36.9 left. Serrano dumps it in. And there's Rivera with another rebound. Rivera is also second on this team in rebounds. It's just about nothing that he doesn't contribute. And I definitely think at the end of the season he'll wind up being all state. It's averaging 27.2 a game. Working for the last shot. 10 seconds to go. Kicked into the corner and a three, no good. Five seconds left, good play. That's gonna count. Busy Beeman hits the bucket. Alves picks up his first foul of the game. Rivera goes and takes a quick seat, gets a little extra breather. Only 2.7 seconds left. Robinson's going to take an extra little breather as well as number 35, Gus Viola, checks in. Chance to make it a three-point play. And he misses. And .3 seconds left. So they were down by as many as 11 was Crosby High School, but now that wouldn't have counted anyway. So at the end of one period, it is the visiting Kennedy Eagles 20 and the home Crosby Bulldogs 17. Two fouls for each team heading into the second quarter. You're watching this DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball only on Waterbury Cable 16 and live on YouTube. Mitch Beck with you, Deb Thoreau, giving you all the sights and sounds of all the activity going here in the Coach Nick Audjilly Court on the campus of Crosby High School. That young lady doing some outstanding work. Looked like it kind of hurt on that last one. Kind of stopped short. In addition to it being the Nick on Jilly Court, Crosby likes to refer to their gym here as Crosby Palace. And if you get a shot at some point along the boards, you'll look to our right where our station is the number of times this team has won state championships, won city championships. Nico Jelly winning his coach in Connecticut high school basketball history and a tremendous person. Got to spend some time with him before the game. Nice move, pull up shot, 
up and in for Isaiah Tucker. DJ Melendez, he's got true heart on him. Melendez dishes, Robinson now. He works it in. He's double teamed, able to control it. Gets the ball in. Spears buries it. He gets his first bucket. And it's 22 to 19. Tucker gives it up to Alves, who started this game red hot. He had the first five points in the game. And a long one from Serrano. That's no good. And it's rebounded by Busy Beeman. Robinson brings it into the forecourt for Crosby. Goes behind the back, pulls up. Long three for Spears, and he hits it. We're tied. First time since the game started. Kennedy was up by 11 at one point, and now we're tied. Ball moved to the outside. That's Tucker. He's got Spears on him. Alves gives it up to Trueheart. Trueheart loses it to DJ Melendez. Melendez does some cross dribbles, goes to the hoop, and he's going to be fouled. And will go to the line to shoot two. And Trueheart called for the foul. That's his first, third foul of the half. Remember here in high school when they get to seven, you know, every foul will go to one and one. Every shot will go, every foul will lead to a one on one, one and one. When they get to 10, it's an automatic two shot foul. Serrano takes a seat back into the game for Kennedy is number 20, Chauncey Hicks. Melendez missed the first shot. He'll try and get one on the second to give Crosby their first lead of the game. And that's no good. We've talked about it over and over and over again. I'm sure it's gotten to be uh, to the point where it's over the top. But free throw shooting, free throw shooting is a lost art. Give that one to Zielinski. Best free throw shooters, you'll watch a smooth motion with very big leg movement, bending of the knees and so on, and just a smooth move. And these guys now basically just throw it at the rim. Robinson, his shot goes over the top of the rim. And with the rebound was Chauncey Hicks. Trueheart now, he pulls up and throws one at the net. And that's rebounded by Busy Beeman. Melendez with the ball. He goes behind his back on Alves, gives it up to Rivera. Rivera pulls up for three. That's no good. And a nice job off the uh, Zielinski rebound. Broken up by Chris Spears. Back into the game will be Manny Beeman checking out. Will be number 23, Isaiah Tucker. Beeman with Melendez on him. Melendez backing up a bit. Rivera comes for the double team, and it produces fruit. Beeman with a good job getting his hand on the Robinson pass. Otherwise, Melendez had a clear path to the net. Off the inbound. Nice pass to Melendez, and it doesn't go. Rebounded by Chauncey Hicks. Back the other way, Mizzy. Manny Beeman no good. I believe they're going to get 14. They do. And that will be the second on Jason Robinson. Only person in the game with two fouls. He'll be likely coming out now. Ready to check in is Khalif Willard. My guess is he goes for Robinson. And he gets the first one. And checking out is number 25, DJ Melendez. I was wrong about Robinson going out. Beeman shoots a second, puts it right over the top. And it's 26-22 with five minutes left in the first half.
Willard gives it up to Spears. B.J. Beeman has it stripped, then they strip it right back. And that's a block by Trueheart. Robinson now does check out. Back into the game, is, oh, for the first time, is Kahani Glenn. He's a freshman, or excuse me, he, uh, Glenn is a sophomore. It's Willard now, giving it up to Rivera. Rivera's been very quiet so far. Hasn't really turned it on yet. And there's a turnover. Beeman goes all the way up the court. Tries to throw it at the net, doesn't go. And coming away with it is Kahani Glenn. Rivera finds Spears. Spears for a long three, it gets it! He has eight. And we got a one point game. Beeman gets it off the inbound. Trueheart inbounded it to him. Beeman tells him to go up. And there's the turnover. Willard, he has it stripped, and that'll be on Beeman. That'll be Beeman's first foul. Gets him on the arm. It's a non-shooting foul. Willard now goes back to take a seat. DJ Melendez back in the game after getting a breather. 3.55 remaining in the first half. 26-25. Passed out and around. Spears has it. He looks to go baseline. Goes back between the legs and his pass inside. Taken away. Here's an opportunity. And Hicks misses. Oh, excuse me. That was Trueheart. He put it right on the rim. And it came off. And the ball get turned over and go back to Crosby. Spears with the inbound. Gives it to Melendez. Melendez and Beeman battle. Out to Spears. Spears has Trueheart on him. Alves now on Rivera. Rivera spins away, kicks it out wide. Three-pointer, no good. Alves with a rebound. And they're going to call a foul. That's Jonathan Rivera with his first foul. Into the game is Andre Arrington again. Checking out is Busy Beeman. Here's Chauncey Hicks giving it to Beeman. Beeman with Melendez. To the left side, Trueheart pulls up for a three. That rolls off the rim, and Rivera again for another rebound. He sees Melendez going up the court. Misses the shot. And getting fouled. You can pick whichever one you want. They're going to give it to Alves. That's his second. Kahani Glenn getting open. 3.03 left in the first. Glenn with a chance to give Crosby the lead. Watch the legs. Good free throw shooting is always in the legs. Lennox Serrano checks back in. As does Isaiah Tucker. Glenn for the second one. And we're tied. 26 apiece. Three minutes left here in the first half. Beeman dishes off, gets it back. Arrington was thinking a steal. Rivera gives it up to Spears. And turned back over the other way. Pass led him just a little bit too much. And it's Isaiah Tucker. And he gets caught. There's a timeout called by Armand Lavasser. And Kennedy takes the first timeout of the game. 30-second timeout. Two minutes, 37 seconds left. Kennedy led by 11 at one point. And we are back to dead even with 2.37 left here in the first half. Here are the Crosby cheerleaders. Q 
cute little routine by the Crosby Bulldog cheerleaders. Sure, they'll do something for us at halftime. Darrington, Glenn, Willard, Spears, and Rivera for Crosby. Serrano looking for some help. Gets it to Zielinski. Beeman finds someone open down low, and it's Chauncey Hicks. And he, and he has six, and Kennedy regains the lead. Spears with Beeman on him, and he loses the ball. Spears pulls on Zelensky's arm, and that will go against him. That's his first. Melendez back in the game. Spears goes and takes a seat. And Serrano gives it to Beeman. Beeman taking his time with two minutes and ten to go. Worked down low. Nice play by Rivera on the steal to break it up. He spins, goes towards the hoop, and it's no good. Works his way to getting the rebound, throws it up. Finds the open man, but nothing comes of it as Willard couldn't finish. Beeman looks to go coast to coast. And they're going to call the offensive foul. Manny Beeman has two. He'll go take a seat. Back into the game is Akeem Trueheart. Trueheart has a foul on three points. DJ Melendez. That could have been called a travel. Rivera. He's fouled from behind. Ball goes flying out of bounds. They're going to call that on Serrano. Okay. Didn't look like he was anywhere near it, but they're in the bonus. Rivera will shoot one and one now. And he misses. And it's rebounded by Chauncey Hicks. And we'll have another foul. They'll nail Andre Arrington for that one. Only the team's sixth foul. They have one to give. Inbounded by Serrano. Trueheart with it. Running out of real estate. And an attempt to get it down the middle. Goes back the other way. Here comes Willard. And he gets it. And we're tied with a minute five to go. Last minute of the play of the first half. Serrano, he's got room. And that's going to be a foul. I think they're going to nail Rivera for that. Yep. Jonathan Rivera picks up his second. 55 seconds to go. Score is tied at 28. Both teams now in the bonus. Serrano was fouled in the act of shooting. And will shoot two. This is the first. Important free throw here. And he gets it. Lennox Serrano with his first point. Back out to Willard. They work the ball around. And it's stolen going back the other way. That's Zielinski. And it's Melendez. He finds Rivera. Rivera pulls up at the free throw line and buries it. 
And they have their first lead of the game, does Crosby. They've battled their way back from 11 down to one up. Good move along the baseline. And just like that, the lead is gone. And that's Isaiah Tucker. Rivera now with five seconds ago. He pulls up for the three, and that's going to be no good. And that's not going to count even if it does. So we're at the end of the first half. And the visiting Kennedy High School Eagles, they leave the Crosby Bulldogs 31 to 30 as we head into the intermission. This is Mitch Beck. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we will be back for the second half in just a few minutes. Stick around. Welcome back to the campus of Crosby High School. It's the Crosby Bulldogs and the Kennedy Eagles, and we've got ourselves a barn burner as we expected before the game. Let's give you some of the halftime statistics for the visiting Kennedy Eagles. Sincere Alves has two fouls and eight points. Manny Beeman has two points. Chauncey Hicks has six. Uh, Beeman, by the way, has also got two fouls. David Zielinski has a foul and seven points. Isaiah T Tucker has four points. Hakeem Trueheart has three points and a foul. Lennox Serrano also has a foul, and he has one point. Well, that adds up to 31 points. They lead Crosby. Crosby, by the way, Jonathan Rivera, the leading scorer and captain of the team, has two fouls. And four points. Chris Spears, number four, has a foul and eight points. Busy Beeman has four points and a foul. Andre Arrington had hit a bomb of a three, and he's got a personal foul. Kahani Glenn gets in the scorebook, and he has one point on a free throw. And Jason Robinson has two fouls and six points. DJ Belendez has two, and Khalif Willard has two. That adds up to 30 points. And that's where we stand as we get ready to start the second half. The uh, possession arrow favors the home team, Crosby Bulldogs. And the score is 31 to 30 as we get ready to start the second half. Glad to have you along with us. This is Mitch Beck with you on this DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball as seen only on Waterbury Cable 16. And of course, live if you're with us on YouTube. 
such a good time when we give you the game of the week for DET Sports Media. This has been a good one. At one point, Kennedy led by 11. And Crosby fought their way back into it. Crosby will start with the ball right in front of us. Jason Robinson is on. Jonathan Rivera, DJ Melendez, Busy Beeman, and Chris Spears. Thrown into the backcourt to DJ Melendez, and he brings it up with Manny Beeman on him. They look to Chris Spears. He had Serrano with him. And as Robinson going high for a rebound, uh, for a shot rather, excuse me, and going up for the rebound was Busy Beeman. Rivera, he battles. Long three, no good. Zelinski had his hand in the way. A turnover. Robinson pulls up for the jumper, and he gets it. Robinson now with eight points. Quick pass to Serrano in the middle. That's a sure shot for him. He has three. And Melendez does battle. They get it to Robinson. Robinson looked like he was fouled by Zelinski, but they don't call it. Robinson wound up on the deck. No call on that. It's very surprising. That was pretty obvious, but okay. Beeman drops it into Serrano. Alves sends it across. Zelinski with a good move and winds up with the bucket. He has nine. Melendez and Beeman gives up the dribble and finds Rivera. Rivera has Melendez on him. That's a good move, but it hits the side. No good. Alves puts it across to Serrano. And Serrano's starting to get hot. And just like the first half, Crosby starting slow, Kennedy starting quickly. It was tied. Now it's a five-point game. Rivera sends it across to Melendez. Melendez goes by Beeman. He dishes down low. Nice move. And it doesn't work. It's going to be a foul. Busy Beeman. They're moving down. I guess they're giving a foul to Busy Beeman. That would be his second. No, they didn't give him a foul. I don't know what that was. They didn't make it clear, that's for sure. Oh, you know what they did? They called goaltending is what they called. As we have a three-point game, there's a long three, and it doesn't go. Rivera with it, goes baseline, looks for some help. Robinson and Beeman go to it. Long three for Rivera. That one's short. Sky and to go get it is Chauncey Hicks. And it's Kennedy's ball. Serrano inbounding to Beeman. Three-point difference is the game right now. And Beeman with Melendez on him. Melendez backing into his own end. Beeman had a double team momentarily. The Alves dishes. And we're going to have another foul. And we'll see who gets nailed for it. That's going to go on number 10. That's Beeman. That's his third. Going to the line to shoot two is Chauncey Hicks. Two minutes, 50 seconds gone by here in the second half. And that one just rolls off. Rivera checks out. And is Arrington. Definitely a subpar performance so far for Rivera. He's only got four. He averages 27.2. And he buries the second one, does Hicks. And he has seven points. Spears juggled it for a moment with Serrano on him. Beeman gets it to Arrington. Arrington turns it over. 
And there's Serrano. He misses the shot, getting there. And that's going to count. Chauncey Hicks. That's going to go on Arrington. Chance for a three-point play. Going to take a seat is Andre Arrington. Back into the game is Rivera. Hicks looking to make it a three-point play. And gets it. He has ten points now. And it's back out to a seven-point lead. Long three for Spears, no good. Robinson, and they're going to count it. That's going to go on Manny Beeman. That'll be his third. Beeman's going to go take a seat. Trueheart comes back in. And out to Rivera. He pulls up for three, and he buries it. If Rivera gets hot, this game could turn in a moment. Alves gets it back after a quick turnover. He goes behind the back, gets it to Serrano. Serrano has Rivera all over him. There's a three, and that's no good. Alves with the rebound, and he gives it up to Rivera. Rivera and Alves, probably the two best players on the court right now. Rivera goes hard to the hoop, and he goes high. And picking it up is Zielinski into the corner to Alves. He goes baseline, pulls up for the jump. No good. And it's Robinson coming out, gets around him. Zelinski and he goes coast to coast. And Robinson has 10. It's a two-point game again. And Alves finds Serrano down low. Up and in. Zelinski. He has 11. Spears, the nice move, pulls up for three, and he gets it. And it's a one-point game. Three minutes and ten seconds here in the third quarter. Outstanding basketball by two truly good teams. Serrano with the jumper. It's no good. Sincere Alves goes down the middle. He has Rivera block it from behind. No call. He got all ball anyway. Rivera pulls up. Finds man open. Down low and it's good. Busy Beeman gets the basket, and he'll go to shoot two. A uh, shoot. They are going to get Zelinski for that one. Oh, they're going to call Trueheart with that one. And Busy will get to the line. Crosby has battled back from seven down in the second half. They were eleven down in the first, and they now lead forty-four, forty-three. Opportunity to make it a two-point lead. Shoots. Yes. Busy Beeman makes it a two-point lead for the Crosby Bulldogs. Trueheart finds Hicks. They find Serrano. He pulls up for two. No good. Ball is loose. And they're going to give it to Crosby. Two minutes, 34 seconds left here in the third quarter. Spears with it now. Gives it back to Willard. Willard has Trueheart on him. Rivera goes baseline, and it's knocked out of bounds by Alves, who recovered nicely on that one. Rivera had gone by him. Inbounding will be Robinson. He has Hicks with him. And up top to Spears, he has Serrano. Serrano reaching towards him. Giving up to Rivera. Nice give and go, but unable to hold on to it. Spears unable to do so. Trueheart comes right down the middle. Kicks it out for a three. Yes! 
Davon Zielinski. And Kennedy regains the lead. Spears pulls up for three. That's short. Rebounded nicely under the by Busy Beeman. Beeman for three. No good. And a nice job on the rebound. Spears is fouled. He's going to shoot two. And I think they're going to get... Yep, Zielinski is going to get nailed for the foul. Zielinski has 14 points. One point lead for the visitors. And Spears does not get the roll. That ball needed a GPS to find the hole as it rolled all around the rim. Chance to tie the game for Chris Spears. And he hits it. Lots of substitutions. Arrington, Glenn, and Melendez return to the game. Truehart brings the ball up for, uh, for Kennedy. Gets a pick from Set Lennox Serrano. Goes coast to coast, short. Putting it in is Serrano off the rebound. He has seven points. Two-point lead for the visitors. Willard finds Melendez. Melendez dishes. Nice move. Kicked out wide. There's a three. No good. Skying to get it is Serrano. Outlet it to Zielinski. He goes coast to coast. And it's Serrano again on the rebound. He has nine. It's a four-point lead. Less than a minute to go. Serrano's going to take that foul. That's his second. And underneath the basket is Robinson. Jason Robinson is a junior. He's 6'4". There's a three. No good. And they're going to nail Robinson for that one. That's his third. He's appealing to the referee. That was a foul. He did clearly bang into him. Trueheart now. He has Melendez, four-point difference, 41 seconds to go. Kicked out for a three from the corner, and it's nothing but net. Three-pointer for Zielinski. He is on fire. Willard goes behind the back. He leaves Hicks, uh, Trueheart behind him and still doesn't get it. Trueheart now comes with 19 seconds left. Dishes bound low. Up for Hicks and in. Twelve points for Hicks, and picked off by Hicks, then taken back by Melendez. One second left, and an extra pass. It's no good. Nine points is the difference as we head into the fourth quarter. Seventeen points for Zelinski. He leads all scores. Chauncey Hicks. He has 12. Leading scorer right now for, for Crosby is Spears. He has 12. Busy Beeman has 9. J uh, Jason Robinson has 10. And this will be an exciting finish. Crosby has battled back from nine down and from 11 down to take the lead twice, only to find that disappear. And they currently trail by nine. Gonna wanna make a stop here. Kennedy won the JV game earlier. They lead here. Serrano gives it to Trueheart. Trueheart brings it to the top of the key, keeps going. And a nice rebound by Busy Beeman. Melendez 
has Alves just take it right out of the air. Alves gives it to Serrano. He's harassed. And a great job by Serrano. Kicks it out to Trueheart. Trueheart was thinking three. Puts it out to Hicks. Bullseye! That was Zelinski, excuse me, Zelinski. He has 20. Spears for three, no good. 12 point lead, it's the largest lead of the game. Melendez is gonna go take a seat. Willard comes back into the game. Clock is ticking. And it's a 12-point lead for Kennedy. Serrano sets a good screen. Trueheart goes coast to coast. And he nails it. 14 points now is the difference. And a timeout called by Nick Audgilly. We were tied at halftime. Actually, it was a one-point difference, 31 to 30. And Kennedy has just been better. It's that simple. They've been better. They've had several leads. They've had several leads throughout the game. This is their largest of the game, up by 14. Seven oh three left. Twenty for Zelinsky. Twelve for Chauncey Hicks. Nine for Lennox Serrano. Willard now. Rivera's been very quiet. He has seven points. There's a three. That one's short. And Alves with the rebound. And Zelinski who's been all over the place. Serrano. And it doesn't go. Beeman is going to pick up that foul. That's his fourth. Serrano's going to shoot two. He's been outstanding in the second half. And does not look good on the free throw. Serrano shoots the second. And it looks smooth the second time. He has 10. Willard gives it to Rivera. Rivera moves in, throws it at the hoop. If Crosby's going to get back in this game, they've got to get the ball in the hands of their best player, Jonathan Rivera. Been very quiet today, and he just picks off the ball right there. Comes on the fast break, gives it up to Willard, and it rolls in. Willard gets his fourth point. It's an 11 point lead, six minutes now. Clock is ticking. Serrano turns around for the jumper and buries it. It's very simple. Kennedy's not missing shots. Grosby's still struggling to get rhythm going and just have not had anything. Nice shot for Robinson. He has 12. But Rivera has been extremely quiet tonight. Alves is kicked out for three. Yes! Zelinski has just absolutely been the best player on the court all game long. Rivera now. He pulls up for three. He gets fouled on the way. Doesn't matter. Doesn't get called. And Zelinski again. It's now a 16 point difference. Kennedy pulling away. Rivera looking for some help from Robinson, gives it to him. Robinson pulls up for three and he gets it. Crosby takes their timeout. 13 points is the difference, 451 on the clock. Four team fouls for both. Make sure you're not 
25 points for David Zelensky. He has been the first star of this game by far. But Lennox Serrano has been exceptional in the second half. He has 12 points. Chauncey Hicks has had a good game. He has 12 points. Meanwhile, across the way on Crosby, Jason Robinson has 15. Busy Beeman has nine. And Chris Spears has 12. Jordan Rivera, uh, Jonathan Rivera, best player on the team, has nine points. Inbounded to Alves. Alves finds Trueheart. Trueheart goes straight ahead. He gets fouled, and it's going to count. Trueheart. That one's going to go on Kahani Glenn. And it's a 15-point lead. Chance to make it 16. He'll shoot one. True heart at the line. And it's no good. Getting there is Jonathan Rivera. Rivera brings it up. Kicks it out wide. Nice move by Willard. Only to lose it to Beeman. Beeman gives it up. And there's Rivera. Has it stripped. Honey Glenn picked it up, gave it to Robinson. Giving it to Rivera. Out to Willard. Robinson. They need to get the ball in Rivera's hands. Nice move getting it down low to Rivera. Or to Willard, excuse me. And Willard gets his sixth point. Crosby with another timeout. They're down 13 with 4.07 left. Nicola Gilly speaking with the referee. Now speaking with the other referee. Not quite sure what he's concerned about. Nicola Gilly, just an absolute coaching legend here in Connecticut. Coaches basketball for 38 years here at Crosby. It's always fun. I coach hockey, and it's always fun to talk to Nick about strategy and coaching philosophy, communicating with youngsters. Man is an absolute coaching genius. Possession arrow favors... Kennedy High School. Five fouls now for Crosby, four for Kennedy. 4.07, almost halfway through the fourth period. And it is going to take a lot of work. Crosby's going to need to be super efficient. You would assume they're going to give full court pressure now. Rivera is on Alves. On the inbound, Serrano almost falls. He calls timeout. Actually, head coach Armin Levasseur called timeout before a turnover could occur. Second timeout of the game for Levasseur and the Kennedy Eagles. Kennedy at home has been 6-3 this season. In a way, they've been 5-0. They're 11-3 for the season. Number 22 in the state, number 4 in D3. Crosby, meanwhile, is 6-1 at home, 7-3 on the road, 13-4 overall. Crosby struggling. They've lost two straight. They lost to WCA 82-76 and to Holy Cross 63-61. They're number 19 in the state and number 7 in D2. Two teams getting back on the court. Full court pressure here from Crosby. Beeman putting pressure on the ball. Robinson is right there with Trueheart. And another timeout. Nope, they're giving it the violation for failure to inbound. 
Break for Crosby. No time off the clock, and they get the ball back. Beeman almost lost it. Rivera now has two guys on him. No one there to help him. Move down low, out to Beeman. He pulls up for three and doesn't get it. And the rebound by Serrano, stolen. And we'll get a foul. It's going to go on Serrano. That's his third. Rivera will inbound. Running out of time. Robinson with it. He has Trueheart with him. Robinson goes hard to the hoop, and he gets fouled. They're going to get Trueheart for that. That's his third. Robinson needs to bury these. 343 left. And beautifully shoots the first one. It's a 12 point game. He needs this basket. Shoots the second. Buries the second one. His form is just perfect. Spears back into the game. Taking a seat is Kahani Glenn. On the inbound, all the way up. And up and in for Trueheart. He has nine. And a good play by the best player in this game anyway, Davon Zelensky, breaking it up. 13 points is the difference. Crosby's going to have to start hitting some shots in a hurry. Inbounded to Willard. Willard and Trueheart. Rivera sets a pick. Kicked out for a three to Beeman, and it goes in and out. Serrano picked off. Nice move by Spears, and Robinson follows up to put it in. 11 points is the difference. Full court pressure here. Serrano gets into the forecourt, almost falls down. Jammed home. Davon Zolensky. Three minutes now. Robinson looks for Willard. Willard pulls up for three, and it goes in and out. Alves comes out of the pack with the rebound, goes coast to coast, dishes it nicely to Trueheart. Time is running out quickly on Crosby. 15 points is the difference. Two minutes, 44 seconds left. Willard takes a seat. Melendez comes back in. It's at the point now Crosby cannot afford to go down onto the offensive zone and not score. There's a three for Rivera. Count it. 12 points and a timeout. Crosby with another timeout with 2.34 to go. Rivera has 12. Spears has 12. Bitten has nine. Andre Arrington has three. Kahani Glenn has one. Jason Robinson has 19. DJ Melendez has two. And Khalif Willard has six. That adds up to 64. Kennedy High School. Sincere Alves has eight. Manny Beeman has two. Chauncey Hicks has 12. Davon Zelinski has 26, I believe. My math is correct. He has 27. Isaiah Tucker has four. Uh, Hakeem Trueheart has 11. Uh, Les Lennox Serrano has 12. And that adds up to 76. Two minutes and 34 seconds left here in this one. On the inbound, they're going to call a holding foul. I guess that's on Spears. They're going to call Spears for a hold. That's his second. Team sixth. Sixth. 
Serrano now you're going to say the inbound is on the side. And Beeman jumping up and down in his face. And they're going to call a block. They are going to nail Robinson for that. That's his fourth. And that puts the team in the bonus. Going to the line to shoot a one and one is Sincere Alves. Kennedy leading by 12. Alves. He misses. And it's rebounded by Robinson. Robinson into the forecourt. He finds Spears for three and buries it. Nine points now. Serrano, and they're going to get a foul. That's going to get DJ Melendez for his first. Serrano's going to shoot a one and one. Nine points is the difference with two minutes and 15 seconds. Got to look at it. It's a three possession game right now before Serrano shoots. And he buries that one. And it's a 10-point game. Serrano sets and shoots. Buries both. 78-67. It's 11 points. Melendez now. He's in the forecourt. Robinson pulls up for three. That's way off. Whoa, Trueheart gets leg whipped. And they'll call that one on Robinson. That's his fifth. I believe that's his fifth. I believe that should be it for Robinson. It is. Robinson is done for the game. Checking in is Kahani Glenn as Robinson fouls out. 11 points is the difference. Next foul being the double bonus. And Crosby will shoot, two, or excuse me, and uh, Kennedy will shoot two on each foul. This one's still one and one, though. And it goes in and out, and Beeman gives it to Rivera. Full court pressure here from Serrano and Trueheart. Passed into the corner for Spears, and he buries a three. Eight points is the difference in a turnover. Melendez puts it down to Beeman. He's fouled. Trueheart, he has four. Chance to cut it to six. This game isn't over, folks. Not by a long shot. Still a very obtainable lead. Or deficit, I would say. Obtainable deficit for Crosby to get back into it. It's a two possession or three possession game right now. This is the first, does Beeman. Eight points, four possession game. Important free throw here. And he buries it. Seven points. Kahani Glenn checks out. Into the game is Arrington. Full court pressure. Alves throws it across to Zelinski. And it's picked off by Melendez. Melendez goes behind his back. And that's a kick. How is that not a, that was a kick by Alves. No call. And Serrano with the bucket. I don't know how they got away with that. He literally kicked the ball. Not allowed to do that. Nine points is a difference with a minute 16 to go. I do not know how he got away with kicking the ball. And given up to Trueheart with a minute to go. And that's going to go off Serrano. It's a three-possession game with exactly one minute to go. 
Kahani Glenn coming back in. Melendez going and taking a seat. Melendez not happy talking with Nick Argelli. Time running out. Passed into the corner for Beeman for three. That's short. Beeman goes to the hoop and gets it. Seven points. Here's Alves. Turns it out to Trueheart with 38 seconds to go. Got a foul here. Nice play by Alves, keeping it in. He finds Hicks, Hicks shoots, it's short. And leave it to Zielinski. And he gets it. And it's nine points. There's a technical foul. Zielinski slammed the ball. So going to shoot, this could be key because it's two shots. He'll get two shots and the ball. He can make both. There's the first. Arrington hits the first. If he hits the second, this could get very interesting in a hurry. And gets the roll. Seven point lead and Crosby has the ball, 23 seconds. I still don't know how Alves kicked the ball and makes no sense. Time is running out. Rivera, the best player on the team, pulls up for three, yes! Thirteen point three left. It's a four point lead with 13.3 to go. Absolutely no quit in this Crosby team. They've been down by 14, they've been down by 16, they've been down by 11 and nine, and they have battled back every single time. I'm not taking anything away from Kennedy, nothing at all. Zelinski has been just absolutely brilliant. He has 29 points, Zelinski does. He's been absolutely brilliant. Best player on the court the entire game. But you got to look at this point at Alves's kick, which he clearly did. That's a dead ball when you do that. Referees didn't call it. It went back the other way. So key inbound here. Serrano is going to do it. Full court pressure coming from Crosby. Alves and Rivera tied up together on the inbound. Quick foul. And this will be a two-shot foul. On the line shooting is Chauncey Hicks. He has two. He can pretty much ice the game if he can make both. And he misses the first. Clock ran on that. So they fix the clock to 12.7 seconds. Make it a two possession game if he hits this one. And he does. Chauncey Hicks, 12.7 to go, five point lead. And they're gonna call a travel on Chris Spears. And that's gonna pretty much do it. 10.7 left. Bad time for a turnover. Serrano now will inbound. It's been a great game. Two tremendously talented teams, Beeman and Serrano. Alves gives it to Serrano. 
Back to Trueheart. Over to Zielinski. In the corner to Hicks. To Alves. And that will do it. What a fantastic game. Glad you could join us for this DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League basketball, varsity boys basketball. Mitch Beck and Deb Thoreau here, and we enjoyed bringing you this one. We want to thank you for joining us on Waterbury Cable 16 and, of course, live on YouTube. Once again, our final score, visiting Kennedy High School Eagles. They have 83, Crosby High School Bulldogs 78. Thank you for joining us. Have a very pleasant evening. Good night, everybody. Let's <laughs> go.